Everybody likes to make money, but nobody likes to lose money, of course. But when markets go down, we assume the worst, and many times we make bad decisions. So on today's show, I'm going to discuss a specific strategy that you can use to limit your downside and give you a very nice upside. And no, I'm not talking about an annuity. Is this something you should consider? I don't know. Stick around and we'll find out. It's time for the My Retirement Clarity Podcast with Lee Perkins, financial planner and president of JL Perkins Wealth Management. Get ready for a good dose of inspiration, simplicity, implementation, and of course, clarity on how to successfully prepare for retirement and grow and preserve your wealth. Here's Ben George with Lee Perkins. Hello there, and welcome into the My Retirement Clarity Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Lee Perkins. And today's show is going to be a little bit different than normal because today I'm going to break a rule that I set for myself when I first started this podcast almost three years ago. It's hard to believe we've been on been doing the show almost three years. I think September of 2020 was our first show. But today I'm going to talk about a specific strategy. And this is something that I never do on the show, or I don't think I've ever done it, because I don't want somebody to apply a specific strategy without talking to a professional first. So I'm a little bit hesitant to do this, but I think this strategy is something that would probably appeal to a lot of people. And it's one that we've been using with our clients for quite some time now, especially given the the current political and economic environment that we're in right now. So... So like I've said on the show before, investing is emotional for a lot of people, and really I would say for most people, and our emotions are what causes individual investors to make poor decisions, which ultimately leads to lower returns over the long term. So we all know what to do, but when we hear news or when we see something happening in the world that maybe we're not sure about, we get nervous and then we lose focus and we probably want to shift gears and blow up the whole strategy that we originally put in place that was sort of supposed to be our long-term strategy. So I've always said on the show, the best investment strategy for you is the one that you can live with in up markets and in down markets. However, that's extremely difficult for most people to do. Maintaining investment discipline is tough to do. And, and frankly, I, I understand that. Uh, If you listen to the news or read things online, investing in the stock market seems very risky all the time. But if you look back historically at, at world events and political landscapes that have changed over time, there's always been a reason or a whole bunch of reasons not to invest. And and that's no different right now. Candidly, I, I don't talk to a lot of people who've got confidence in this administration. We know they're out there. Uh, We know that more than half the people who voted in the last election voted for this, but I've yet to meet anybody who's gung-ho about what's going on right now. Uh, Maybe that's because of the area of the country that I live in, but anyway, I'm not going to get into a political debate, so I just want to really focus on behavior today. So successful investing comes down to our behavior. Everybody loves to make money, but nobody likes to lose money. But we all know that investments, you know, investing period involves risk. And if you're going to reap any kind of benefit in the stock market, you're going to have to take some level of risk. You don't have to be crazy aggressive, but, you know, whether you're conservative or kind of middle of the road, you're going to have to take some level of risk to get some type of reward. So for today's strategy, what I want to discuss is something I think is going to give most people what, what they're looking for. Good upside potential with limited downside. Now, before you stop this podcast and, and say, hey, this guy's doing nothing but talking about an annuity, I, I'm not. That That's not what this is. That's another conversation for another day. And I don't think I've ever done a, a breakdown on this show about how annuities work. I should probably do that at some point. But Um, that's not what we're talking about today. What I'm talking about today is a strategy called, it it can be called either a defined outcome ETF or a buffered ETF strategy. Different companies have different names for it. So before I I jump into 
to what this is. Let me explain, start off with what an ETF is. An ETF is, it's an exchange traded fund. All right. So I'm not going to go into too much detail, but You can sort of think of it like a mutual fund that trades like a stock. The fund's got a, it's got a bunch of companies in it the same way a mutual fund does, but generally it's got less turnover inside of that fund, meaning buying and selling inside of the fund. And and for that reason, uh, generally speaking, it's got lower expenses than a traditional mutual fund. So this strategy I, I think is pretty simple. There's an outcome period of one year. And so we're basing this on the S&P 500. So let's say you put $100,000 in this strategy on day one and your outcome period ends in one year, you know, one year from today, whatever that is. So during that year, you've got a downside buffer of 15%. And what that means is that you're protected from losses in your account for the first 15%. So if the S&P 500 goes down 8%, at the end of your outcome period, which is one year, your account would be down zero, meaning you, you wouldn't lose any money. If the S&P 500 were down during that period of time, 15%, at the end of that year, you'd actually be down zero. But if the S&P 500 were down 20%, at the end of this, this year, your account, because you've got a 15% buffer, you'd only be down 5%. So the beauty of this strategy is that you don't participate in the first 15% of market losses. Now, there has to be a trade-off on the upside, of course, if you're not taking all of the risk. And that's certainly the case with this strategy. So with this strategy, there's a cap on the upside. And that cap is set at the beginning of the term. And right now, that's pretty close to 15%, like 14.9, right at 15%. So if the S&P 500 goes up 10%, At the end of this, your outcome period, at the end of the year, your account would be up 10%. If it's up 5%, you'd be up 5%. If it's up 20%, you'd only be up 15% because that's what the cap is. So that's pretty much that strategy in a nutshell. 15% downside buffer and a 15% upside cap. So Again, a pretty simple concept, and I think it provides a level of security for some people because they know they're not taking all the risk. And security is probably not the right word to use there. My compliance firm would probably not like me using that word because your money is the market, and which means it's not secure because your account value can drop if markets drop below that buffer. So again, your account would be subject to market losses, just not all of the losses of the S&P 500. So hopefully that makes sense. Hey folks, Lee Perkins here. If you've listened to this podcast for any amount of time, you know how much I hate taxes, and I know you probably do too. Our politicians are completely out of control. Their spending is off the chart, and you've got to be prepared for increasing taxes in the future. So we've written a book called Diffuse, Seven Steps to Protecting Your 401k or IRA from the Ticking Tax Time Bomb. You're going to want to grab a copy of this book and learn how you can protect yourself. Then you'll have to decide if you want to take action right now or if you'd rather wait until the IRS changes the rules of the game. Either way, the choice is yours. To get a free copy of the book, just text the word DEFUSE to 478-475-2050. That's D-E-F-U-S-E to 478-475-2050 and we'll send you a free copy. Thanks again for listening. Now back to the show. Now, there are other buffer strategies that are out there that have more upside potential, but of course, with more upside potential, there there's less downside protection. And and they've pretty much designed something that would fit most investors. Now, is this the greatest investment strategy in the world? Absolutely not. There is no greatest investment strategy in the world because they're all flawed to some extent. Should this represent 100% of your strategy? Probably not. Most likely not. Uh, Even though the downside protection at 15% is going to be really appealing to a lot of people, Frankly, there are times when the market is doing very well when you probably need to make more than the 15% uh, that the cap would be in any given year. But could this be a part of your overall strategy? Absolutely. I think this is definitely something that a lot of people out there could or should consider. 
Now, who's this for? Well, this, this is definitely not a strategy for somebody who's young. And by young, I would say under the age of 50 or so. If you're under the age of 50, time is on your side and you probably need to be taking more risk at this stage in the game than somebody who's over 50. So this is really for somebody that that knows they need to be in the market, but they're just a little bit nervous about things right now and they're just not really sure how they want to invest their money. So it's a pretty easy way to get in the market, even if you're not confident about what's going on politically or even economically right now. I think this is also a pretty good option for somebody who's got old retirement accounts at companies that they no longer work at and, and they hadn't done anything with and they really don't know how that money is invested. So this is a good way for people to have a, a better understanding of how that money is invested. Uh, of course, that old retirement account, the old 401k or 403b, whatever it is, or TSP, it would need to be moved over into an IRA that had access to, to the strategy that we're talking about here. And certainly that's something that our firm can assist you with if, if you're interested. I also think this is a great option for people who've got money sitting in the sidelines in either cash uh, or maybe a money market account or even a, even a CD. Uh, this certainly has way more upside than any of those options, but you got to keep in mind there's still some downside potential. Again, I would not suggest that somebody put their entire emergency fund into this, but if they want some of their money to work for them a little bit more than the CD at the bank, this is definitely something to consider. Uh, one other thing that I think is important to mention here, and I probably should have mentioned this early on uh, in the podcast, this investment is 100% liquid, meaning you got full access to your money at any time. Now, if you take your money out before the defined outcome period has ended, you may not realize all of the downside buffer or all of the upside cap, but you can certainly take your money out at any time. There's no time constraint like there is in a CD or even in some types of annuities. Um, if you need the money, you can get to it. So again, like I said a, a few minutes ago uh, earlier in the podcast, there is no greatest investment ever. There, there's no greatest strategy ever. The best strategy is the one that you can live with in good markets and bad markets. So that's sort of it for today. I, I hope this has been helpful for you. Again, just a little bit different of a subject matter um, and you know, than we usually do on the show because I, I never want to come across on the podcast as a product pusher. That That's something I never want to be. And so I, I'm not recommending this for you specifically because I don't know anything about your situation. If you're a listener out there and I don't know you, I don't know anything about your situation. It might be right for you or it might not be. But if you do think this is something that you might be interested in, you can reach out to us and connect by visiting the website www.talkwithlee.com. When you go to the website, it's going to take you to my calendar. You'll put in your, your name and a little bit of information. It'll ask you to pick a time for us to have a conversation. And there'll be a prompt there that's going to ask you what you want to talk about. So just, just type in buffer strategy, and I'll know that that's what you want to talk about when we get together for our phone call. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you again for tuning in, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care. Lee Perkins here, and I want to thank you so much for tuning into the show today. If you like our podcast, we would be honored if you would share the show with others. And one great way to do that is by posting the show to your social media pages or by just telling others about it. Either way, we would really appreciate it. And of course, if you do enjoy the show, we would appreciate it if you would give us a five-star review. And this certainly helps other people like you find our show. And if you want to learn a little more about our firm and how we help people have the best retirement they can possibly have, go check us out at www.myretirementclarity.com. There are a lot of great resources that you can access directly on the website. And of course, if you want to have a conversation with me, you can visit www.talkwithlee.com and this will take you directly to my calendar. And there you can schedule a 15-minute phone call so I can learn a little bit more about your situation. Of course, everybody is not a great fit for our firm, but if I think we can add value and put you in a better situation, 
I'll let you know and we can certainly talk about the next steps. So thanks again for tuning into the show and we'll catch you next time. Investment advisory services are offered by JL Perkins Wealth Management, a registered investment advisor and insurance agency. Information is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute tax, legal, or investment advice. Always consult with a qualified tax, legal, or investment professional before taking any action.